What's good, YouTube? Because of coffee here. So, we're diving into a request from Darren. This is the Angels Between the Eyes. Thank you, Darren, for your list once again. I say that every video, but that's because I want everybody else to thank you, too. I want them to know they all come from you because... Darren has provided us with about 25 angel songs at this point, and every single one of them has been fantastic and an adventure. Very excited to dive into another one. If y'all are new here, hit that subscribe for me. We talk about mental health, addiction, world issues, everything in between. Break down all the lyrics, stage performances. This is a music video. We have a music video for this one, the official video. So no live performance for this one. Two music videos in a row now with our... One before this one, and that was deep. The Max Q song, y'all gotta check out that Max Q video, man. We talked about some wild, wild stuff in that one. Check out that Max Q reaction for me as well. We got deep in there. The Angels always got something to talk about in their songs. Super deep. Doc is a menace in the best way possible. The, the rest of the band is interesting. I love that our guitar player is like a concrete block and only his arm very barely moves right <laughs> along the neck of the guitar and to play right so you gotta love their vibe they got an awesome vibe we're gonna dive into this i'm because of coffee a reaction video a day or two keep the doctor away fuck those apples this is between the eyes by the angels everybody thank darren <laughs> Oh. Okay. Yeah. I like the vibe. I wonder, is the official video actually just a live video with things superimposed over it visually? That would be cool as fuck if this is actually still a live version. It definitely sounds very live, like well-produced live, well-caught live. Which is difficult to do because of all of the crazy distortions that happen inside of the air of a venue, right? It's very hard to catch sound properly when it's at that level. But I think we might actually have a live version right here. I like the vibe of this. Very upbeat rock and roll. Pub rock, as you guys like to call it. It's got that pub rock vibe, man. Classic right here. Let's see what they get into with the words. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I do think this is a studio recording, but it just sounds very raw because the angels, right? <laughs> it said, rouse to your homes, rouse to your homes. Join the Mensa men, he said. I will announce when the new day will begin. Hold on a minute. Wait a second. Don't mind my noises. <laughs> Hold on. The fuck is this? Ah. Uh. Mm hmm. Okay. Ah, I gotcha. Ah, I got you. I got you. Mm hmm. Bum, bum, bum. Okay, it's about IQ and stuff like that. That's exactly what it is. Okay. 
it is to get into Mensa, a person must be in or above the 98th percentile on a standardized IQ or other approved intelligence test. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, I see you. Wow, join the Mensa, man. I will announce when the new day will begin, he said. Doc, my, my guy right here. Join the Mensa, man, he said. He said, join the intelligent, essentially. That's what he was saying. Hungry kids with tunnel vision, how could you lose? Familiar faces, predictable views, strike another match, even the score, bad news, gift wrap, no one saw he spitting. <laughs> Familiar faces, predictable views, he said. Hungry kids with tunnel vision, how could you? Oh, oh he's saying, how the fuck could you let them actually get a hold of you and make you live a certain way? Hungry kids with tunnel vision, how could you lose? Familiar faces, predictable views, saying you see everything around you, it's pattern prediction, right? <laughs> you notice all of it around you, figure it out, he said. Well, that's what Doc is saying right here, strike another match, even the score, bad news, gift wrap, no one solved. Boy, oh boy. Doc. Doc. <laughs> Stop it, man. Stop it. I swear to God. When was this made? 1984? Yeah, this is off the two-minute warning album. Yeah. That's uh, up. Feels like that's what we're at with a lot of things in the world right now, right? <laughs> that's about right. 1984. Mmm. Mmm. Not January 1st, 1984, bro. Ain't no way. Uh huh. Almost exactly 40 years ago. Right? I see. I gotcha. That is wild right there. The very first day of 1984. Like that, Doc. What the fuck was going on, man? What are these guys on? What were they on, man? <laughs> what the hell, guys? Even the years that these songs come out and stuff like that it connotates to... Wow. Wow. This is fucking crazy. That's all I have to say about that. <laughs> This one, there's no name on the lyric sheet. Do you guys know which one of them wrote this one? Is this Doc? Because every time Doc writes something, I lose my fucking mind. You guys know that. Every time we do one that Doc himself wrote, it blows me through. I swear to God, like portals, bro. It's crazy. Like, Doc is that kind of lyricist. Like, if you really analyze and look at the, the timing of things as well. The, the symbolism inside of what they were doing. Angel City, even. Mm. It says Angel City on the album cover, too. AC. Two-minute warning. <laughs> oh, boy. Rouse to your homes, he says. Join them in some men. That's a hell of a way to start off a fucking song, to be honest. The second verse, he said, junk-filled baby staying up all night, down on your knees, you're too hungry to fight. The quick and the dead get the best of the few, hope they're not out to get you. Whoa. Whoa. Oh my god. Doc. Oh my god. 
junk filled baby staying the junkie girl. Ooh, down on your knees, you're too hungry to fight. Oh, hell, bro. Oh, fuck. I had to sit. God, that hits you in the stomach, bro. Lord have mercy. Was that, this had to be Doc that wrote this. That is so... Oh, God. The quick and the dead get the best of the few. Hope they're not out to get you. Oh, my God. I know what Doc's talking about here, and it's something that, this is, this is about spiritual warfare and societal intelligence, and, uh, god damn, Doc, why, Doc? He said a lot of things very metaphorically. I know what he's talking about right here, holy shit, <laughs> between the eyes. You're taking it right. Between the eyes. Taking it right. Go watch the Max Q video. Between the eyes. <laughs> God damn, bro. What the fuck? For those of you that are in the premiere watching these videos back to back, you are probably all sorts of fucked up right now, as am I. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> No one to blame for the beautiful few. Just one too many taking his dues. Wow. Standing in the whitewash, up to your neck. Silver coat, silver dollar, what'd you expect? Hope-filled letters that begin at the end. The final solution again. Reverse psychology, bro. What the fuck? <laughs> Doc, <laughs> you are wild, my boy. I get it. This is so wild, bro. Doc was smart as fuck, bro. This is cool as hell right here. I like this. I like this. This is cool as hell. And it's talking about, like... If you didn't see the Max Q video to summarize, things that shine bright attract all sorts and a lot of it's negative, and that's, take it for what it is with Doc talking in this song, right? <sighs> Fucking Christ, bro, I can't, I can't even right now, this is unfucking believable dude. This is unbelievable. Doc is... If this was Doc that wrote this, I'm not sure if it was all of them or if it was just Doc. Whoever was involved in writing these lyrics. Definitely a Mensa person. Right? Wow. This is that kind of shit that you don't understand usually when you read it. This is very, very, very coded. It's reverse psychology, that's what this is about, really. <sighs> oh my god. What the hell, bro? I've never seen nothing like this, that's why I'm just pausing for a minute. I wanted to read through it again and really take it in. This is, he's, he's writing an immense way. That's what he's doing here. <laughs> you funny, Doc. 
and the others that wrote this as well, if the others were involved. <laughs> Y'all fucking funny. <laughs> <laughs> This is about, but this is about not fitting in, though, as well. He's saying if you are one of those people, this is what you consider. Okay? Right? Ah, oh, Jesus. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Taking it right between the eyes, right? It ties into itself, but the way it's written, you have to look at the lyric sheet. It changes things. You're taking it right is in its own set of parentheses, separated from between the eyes. Standing in line, then you're taking it right is in its own set of parentheses, separated from between the eyes. You're not standing in line anymore. You're standing in line, but then you're taking a right between the eyes, your third eye. Doc, you're wild. <laughs> Nice solo right there. <laughs> Hundred years of tunnel vision. How could you lose? Freedom of choice. You've been wanting to you waiting to use. Legendary arbitrator settled the score, caught more banknotes, seldom applaud. Wow, seldom applaud. That is glorious right there. Cop more banknote, he said. <laughs> Legendary arbitrator settled the score. Doc is great. <laughs> This is such a big fuck you to everything that they want to mold you into, and he's saying it. it it's so hard to, like, really dissect this properly, because you have to be looking at the lyric sheet to understand it, right? You really have to be looking at the lyric sheet to understand it because of the parentheses and stuff. It changes the meaning and the way that the sentence structure flows. Because you're taking it right being its own separate entity gives away what it is. That's the reverse psychology, right? The reverse psychology is inside of those parentheses and that's the direction to actually look at it in. You see what I mean? This is some serious writing right here. This has me shook. Because of the structure. Changing the way of it. And the Mensa reference at the beginning. You have to tie that in to understand what they're doing here. This is goddamn different if I ever seen different before. I've never broken down one that got me like this before. Man... This is incredible right here. Swinging your head to get the best of the view, but the final solution is you. Oh, yes, sir. He's saying... <laughs> You're the only one that can break the chains. You're the only one. That's it. It's you and you alone. If you choose to stay, 
you don't get to stand with us. That's what he's saying. You can choose to stay or go right, right? Doc, my God, I can't. Guys, this is one of the craziest back-to-backs we've had ever on the channel. Ever. <laughs> so they, they, these are correlated right here. Wow. Man, oh man. The way of the world between the eyes, right? <laughs> Big dive. Love it. Love the crowd interaction. You guys know we love crowd interaction on here, man. I fucking love it. This right here. Like I said. This song. Swing in each way, he says. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Mm -hmm. Wow. Like a pendulum, right? Mm -hmm. My, my, sir. <laughs> Written January, released January 1st, 1984. Boy. Boy, oh boy. This right here. This is some, like, I understand the Mensa reference at the beginning. This is some serious writing right here, man. This is, this is deep. Oh, god damn, man. I'm going to stop rambling. I think we said everything that needed to be said. This right here is something fucking special. They outdid themselves lyrically in the meaning of it. Oh, my God. Original video in the description, as always. Subscribe to the Angels. Support all the artists we have on the channel. That's what we do this for. Help get the music out into the world. Discuss the wild lyrics. And it gets us on some amazing tangents about interesting and exotic topics sometimes man sometimes we get into some wild shit on here so i really appreciate you guys tuning in we're gonna get out of here i'm vacasa coffee a reaction video a day or two keep the doctor away fuck those apples leave a like for me comment your suggestions subscribe up this way bang that notification bell for me i'll see you guys in the next one i love you so much have a beautiful one peace